Employment rising and predicted to top 3 million by the end of next year. More and more managers and other professional workers are losing their jobs as a result of the economic downturn. As part of our series looking at how the recession is changing us, our business correspondent Emma Simpson has been talking to two casualties of the recession. Hello, I'm John Mudge. I'm an early architect, a designer. I've worked in the logistics and supply chain industry for 27 years. I'm an international IT recruiter with 21 years' experience. There's a lot of talent and experience in this room, and they're all looking for work. This is a community-run club for unemployed executives in Newbury. They too need advice and support. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Dean Weller. I'm a business operations manager, most recently for Vodafone. I've been unemployed since the 1st of January this year. Like looking the others at, here, Dean would normally have walked into another job. At, uh, not now. It's not what I expected. Um, I know that I'm a capable uh, manager. I know that I interview well. Um, however, the responses I'm getting most commonly are no response. Getting a job is a full-time job. I've committed a lot of time and resources to that, the same as I would as if I'm employed. Sure, all the way up. Yeah. Dean's gone from being a boss to being at home, never out of work before. Unemployment sudden and life-changing. Dean's story is being played out across the UK. In the last two recessions, in the 80s and 90s, the effects were felt, above all, by manual workers losing their jobs. This time round, the impact is right across the economy, including many who once seemed untouchable. What are the kind of communication skills that you need? Among them, Trevor well, Cullen, a former be managing director. He sought professional um, coaching to help him get a new job. Even an award-winning golden boy like him needs help. I felt that my whole career account had been erased and that I was back on rung number one of the ladder and it, it really was very daunting, very scary. I felt very alone. Folder that I wanted to go through. He came to this company for help. Now, the business has tripled in the last year. Well, you know, these are our captains of industry. <laughs> they're the people who make it happen, who help our industry prosper. So if they're not able to go out and create wealth, for the rest of the environment, then we're all going to suffer. Best of luck. But how best to do it? The number of professionals who've never been touched by redundancy before is growing fast. Emma Simpson, BBC News, Buckinghamshire. Formula One's governing body is